Hi guys, it is no longer news that President Joe Biden was in Saudi Arabia. President Biden has landed in Saudi Arabia. President Biden is still in the Middle East. The meeting between this president came to many as a surprise. This is what inspired me to make this video. In this video, I will be educating you about six shocking things that will surprise you to know is existing in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia aside from its richness in crude oil. Before we continue, if you are an adventure lover, tourist, or you love seeing beautiful places, kindly check out some of the videos I've made about the beautiful places you can see, the beautiful things you can do here in Saudi Arabia. And also, if you would like to learn more about the beautiful Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its culture, I would like you to subscribe to this channel to get more updates in the future. Thank you. To start with, did you know that Saudi Arabia is the largest country without a single river? Though there are exceptions of few lakes and forests here and there, but the whole of the country has no single river. Despite the shortness of water in Saudi Arabia, King Fad Fountain in Jeddah is recognized by the Guinness Book of Record as the highest fountain in the world. This fountain can shoot into the air as high as 312 meters above the ground level. That was an amazing record made by a country without a single river. Do you know this same fountain shoots into the air at an amazing speed of 375 km per hour into the air? It can only take a country with a vision and set goal to attain such a feat. Also, Saudi Arabia has one of the best water activities in the world. That scuba diver in this country has a singular opportunity of diving with the solitary sailfish, which is the fastest fish in the world. So if you are planning to come to Saudi Arabia in the nearest future, prepare yourself to have one of the most amazing water activities. Secondly, we all know Saudi Arabia is a desert. Saudi Arabia is one of the exporters of flowers, vegetables, fruits, dates. In fact, dates here in Saudi Arabia are grown for global consumption. So the big question is, how is it possible for a country known as desert to be able to harvest produce and feed its nation from the produce and still having sufficient to be able to export to the world at large. Since the year 1961, Saudi Arabia has improved its arable land in the country using central pivot irrigation system. This system makes use of groundwater eating beneath the heart. This central pivot irrigation system is used in sprinkling farmlands with water. And this system works in such a way that it rotates around a circumference from a pivot. So that is why it is common to see farmlands in Saudi Arabia in small portion of circles. Using this system, Saudi Arabia has been able to drastically improve the percentage of arable lands in the country. The third shocking fact that I will be talking about that will surprise you about Saudi Arabia is the fact that it snows here in Saudi Arabia during winter. The weather condition here in Saudi Arabia can go as high as 50 degrees Celsius during the summer. And when it comes to the winter period, a few parts in Saudi Arabia experience snow. Aside from the fact that it naturally snows in some parts of Saudi Arabia, there is a snow city here in the federal capital of Saudi Arabia. We have artificial snow. A visit to this place will give you a look and feel of a typical snowy season in Europe. 
the fourth point I will be making today is that a lot of people, when they hear about Saudi Arabia, they think people in Saudi Arabia sleep at home during the holiday. Let me tell you, you are far from the truth. Saudi Arabia has a lot of places you can visit and have maximum fun with your friends, with your families, with your loved ones. You can check out some of the videos we've done in the past and check out some of the fun places that we visited during our short stay in Saudi Arabia. Also, it will interest you to know that the government of Saudi Arabia has so much interest in the development of the entertainment industry here in the kingdom. Every year, the government organizes entertainment festival that move across the whole region of Saudi Arabia. Presently, we are in July. What we have is Jeddah season. Come November, December, there's something we are going to have which is called Riyadh season. So aside from that, um, on my birthday, I decided to go out and have fun. So I took um, a tour to the Boulevard City here in Riyadh. What caught my attention was the fact that I had Nigerian music oozing out of a bar here in Riyadh. We all know Nigeria is one of the top leading music industry in the world. So for me to hear Nigerian music here in Saudi Arabia, it actually shows the country appreciates good music and they appreciate good social life. It will interest you to know that here in Saudi Arabia, you can get a bar where you can have maximum fun like I had on my birthday outing. Also, in Saudi Arabia, you have access to beautiful amusement parks where you see a lot of fun things to do around both for the children and adults. Can decide to go to any of the malls we have here in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has one of the most beautiful and interesting malls in the world where you can take a walk with your friends, with your family, and have beautiful and nice experience. I wonder why some people outside of Saudi Arabia still think to today people in Saudi Arabia are living inside rocks and caves. Let me tell you, Saudi Arabia has one of the best infrastructures in the world. In fact, in time past, Kingdom Tower here in Saudi Arabia used to be the tallest building in the Middle East. Also, another fun fact you should know is Riyadh, which is the federal capital of Saudi Arabia, is one of the richest city in the world. Here you have beautiful infrastructures, beautiful buildings, good road networks, security at the maximum, close to zero crime rates. But the only downside that I've noticed is here in Riyadh, there is no means for public transportation. 
So for you to live in Riyadh, you have to own a car of your own. Some of the other beautiful things you can also see here in Saudi Arabia are the beautiful dunes and sounds, you know, mountains made from heap of sand, beaches just like you have in the other part of the world in Maldives. You have beautiful beaches here, private beach, public beach. In fact, here we have a lot of world heritage sites here in Saudi Arabia. So the sixth point I'll be making in this video is that the Arabs are one of the most friendly and welcoming people you can ever meet. One of the beautiful moments I love to experience is seeing two Arabs exchanging pleasantries. It reflects intense love and affection for each other. It's a beautiful view. If you really like this video, I would like you to like this video to improve the algorithm of this video and also if you would like to learn more about saudi arabia kindly subscribe to this channel to get more future updates we will be bringing to you soonest thank you see you some other time bye